All right, you guys, today we check out how to make this Chrome text effect here in Photoshop. I hope I'm going to nail it because it's a little bit more complicated. I'm going to go with this artboard size. And for the font, I'm going to select the Cheesecake Black. This is a free Adobe font you can download. Let's go down to the text layer and decrease the fill to zero of the text layer. Now let's double click on the text layer. And we're going to go to the bevel and emboss, activate it. And I'm going to go with inner bevel smooth, depth. I'm going to decrease it to 126. Direction is going to be up, size 24, soften 11. Now let's go to the shading and uncheck use global light. I'm going to type in minus 127, altitude 42. And we're going to go to the gloss contour and change it to this one right here. I'm going to go to the highlight mode, change it to lighten. I'm going to go to the shadow mode and change it to color dodge. I'm going to change up the shadow most color to some cyan. Click OK. Opacity is going to be 67. Highlight opacity is going to be on 90. Now we're going to go to the contour activated and we're going to change the contour to this one right here. And I'm going to increase the range all the way to 100. Let's go and activate the stroke. Increase the size to 18. Position is going to be center and the black color. Increase the opacity to 100. I'm also going to activate the gradient overlay. Make sure the blend mode is on normal. Opacity is going to be 28. I'm going to change up the angle to minus and 90. Scale is going to be 46. I'm going to click on the gradient and I'm going to double click on the left handle, make it black, click OK. And the right handle is going to be a stronger blue, like so. Click OK, click OK, and again, click OK. Now let's select the text layer, press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. I'm going to drag and drop the gradient overlay into the bin. So it's going to remove it. And let's go back to the text layer and double click on it. Now let's go back to the bevel and emboss and I'm going to go to the depth. Increase it to 428. The size is going to be 18. Softness is going to be 5. Let's go to the angle. I'm going to change it to 32. Altitude 32 again. Gloss contour. I'm going to go with this one. All right. And now we're going to go to the highlight mode and decrease it to 54. And I'm also going to change the blend mode to difference. Shadow mode is going to be on color dodge, but decrease the opacity to 23. Now let's go to the contour. This is going to remain the same. And I'm also going to go to the stroke and decrease it a little bit more. I'm going to go with 2, click OK. Select the text layer, press Ctrl J again. I'm going to go to the stroke, drag and drop the stroke into the bin and double click on the bevel and emboss. Now we're going to go to the depth, increase it to 1000. Size is going to be 21. Soften is going to be 5. Let's go to the angle, type in minus 130, altitude 58, change up the gloss contour again. I'm going to select this one and we're going to change the highlight mode to screen, also decrease it to zero. Shadow mode is going to be color dodge. I'm going to change up the color to a pink, click OK, and I'm going to add 73. The contour is going to remain the same, click OK. And now let's repeat this step one more time. Select the top text layer, press Ctrl J to duplicate, double click on it. Let's go back to the bevel and emboss. And here I just gonna decrease the opacity of this one, the shadow mode, and maybe add a different color. Click OK, click OK. Now, if you want, you also can add a glow. I'm gonna select the top text layer, press Ctrl J, and I'm gonna drag it under every each text layer. And I'm also gonna remove the bevel and emboss, drag and drop it into the bin. Now let's double click it again. We're gonna go to the outer glow. I'm gonna change the blend mode to normal. I'm going to go with the opacity 45 and I'm going to change up the color. I'm going to select some orange, click OK, increase the size, click OK. And this is how you make this colorful dark chrome text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.